naked werewolf halloween tutorial i'm just going to use a clip to remove my hair from my face because i don't want to get any latex in it this is the latex i've been using for all of my halloween tutorials and i want to use it apply it with a foundation brush i'm going to apply it three stripes and i'm just going to miss my eye To add some texture to the wounds, I will be applying some cotton wool. You can use cotton wool balls broken up or cotton wool pads. It's entirely up to you. Over the top of that, I will be applying just some more latex to hold it all down together. Foundation and a beauty blender is so simple just to bounce on top of the latex because it's not going to move it around as much as a brush so it will just make it look more like your skin and not move the latex around too much. With some tweezers just pick around the wounds, I know it sounds gross, just pick around the wounds so it just looks more fleshy and any hanging bits is perfect but if you need to apply some latex over the top like I'm doing just so they stick down a bit better and then go back in with the tweezers this Morphe Planet palette in N55 I like the brownies and the brownie red colours for, for animal when I'm creating an animal like tutorial <laughs> With the brush I will be using here is Morphe B13. I will make like overdo my cheekbones basically and really blend. But we're going to go back to blending a little bit later on. Doing the tip of my nose and up the contours of my nose as well, bringing it up to my brows. With a brownie red colour now, I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques eyeshadow brush around my wounds to make them look like they're swollen a bit. And bring it all the way down to the wounds, not forgetting it on your cheeks. For my brows, I will be using my Bobbi Brown Eye Definer and bring in, dra over dragging your brows so you're coming up over the top of your brows in fine lines to make it look like hair With your foundation, you could have done this before, but I'm just going to do it now. I'm going to take off the ends of my brows, just cover them a little bit. And now I'm going to do, with this, with a brownie colour, just do some hair in the middle of my forehead. Just some fine strokes to make it look nice and hairy. Again with my Morphe brush, just do some shadowing around my jawline with a brownie colour. This brush is by Blank Canvas and it's F20. I'm just going to use it to blend all of my cheek contouring in a little bit more. I love this shade. It's Birthday Suit Matte Me by Sleek. I'm just going to put that all over my lip. NYX Vivid Brights in 04, it's a yellowy colour, 
just follow in my lower lash line and bring it down my nose a tiny bit and on the top of my lash line as well these are so simple by nyx to use to create good lines this is just any blood you have i've used this blood for all of my tutorials just fill in the wounds a little bit and that is basically all it is i hope you've enjoyed this last minute halloween tutorial which is effective and easy to do i really hope you do subscribe to me and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial bye happy halloween some hair extensions just to make my hair look really scruffy and just pulled my top and my bra down to here just so it looks like I'm naked. These ears I purchased from Fair's Accessories, they were five pound. Just gonna pop them in my hair like that. I actually think I need to change the background a bit because you guys can't see it too well. Now we've got the furry background going on. So what I'm gonna do is with this beauty blender and this Saint Tropez bronzer, I'm just going to put some all over my chest. please give it a like share it on your social media page and leave me a comment below on your thoughts on this look and do not forget to subscribe to me guys see you guys in my next tutorial happy halloween Mwah. bye